Hello, this is Kaki Lee and welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show, where I'll be sharing daily bite-sized pearls of wisdom I've picked up along my life journey that has allowed me to embrace and unleash my inner abundant goddess. And that's exactly what I want for you, to embrace and unleash your inner abundant goddess. I love talking about anything and everything to do with life, but I especially love talking about money, mindset and energy, which is the main focus here. If you like what you hear, make sure you subscribe to my show so you don't miss out on your daily dose of wisdom for myself. And also follow me and let me know what you think on Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee. Now let's get into it. Welcome to the Abundant Goddess Show. Before I get started, if you're a woman who has an awakening or transformational story to share, I'm calling you to be part of my multi author book project, The Awakened Feminine, Stories of Women Awakening to Who They Truly Are. If that is you, send me a message, send me a DM on Facebook, Instagram, or send me an email for more details. My details are available at the end of the show. Now let's get started. Today's pearl of wisdom is Be the Lighthouse. I really love this concept of being the lighthouse because as humans, we have a tendency to want to help people, which is a fabulous thing to do. And when we see people around us, especially our loved ones, suffer or they're in a place where you know that you can just help them and that, you know, it would, it would make their life so much better. Or if they just followed your instructions, then their life will be so much better And you get so frustrated because you're just like, come on, just do this and it will all get better. But the thing is, unless that person wants to change or get help, nothing you do is going to help them. Actually, by even doing things for them, you're enabling them and you're developing a codependent relationship, right? Is this need to feel like you're helping someone, you're being codependent on their drama or their suffering to feel better about yourself. And there's lots of other things at play as well. But really what I want to tell you is if someone around you, especially a loved one, is suffering, is not doing well, yes, I'm not saying don't help them, help them but don't make them do anything don't give them give you can give them advice but don't get upset or angry if they don't take it it's because they're not ready and the only thing that you can do is be the lighthouse so think about it this way lighthouses don't go out and pull all the boats to them right? Because there's so many boats out there, they can't literally cannot pull in all the boats to save them. What the lighthouse does is it stands there in its bright, shining light. And the boats that want to find the lighthouse, that want to go towards the lighthouse will go there. You are bringing in the boats. You are standing in your power, in your love, in your sovereignty, in your light, and you're unapologetic about it. So you bring the people in. You bring them in. You show them that they don't have to suffer, that they can live their best life. You don't go and help them do it. You can't because until they want it, nothing you do, nothing you say is actually going to make them change their life, their circumstances. They're just continuing in their own drama and suffering. And the thing is, that's part of their journey. Your job to be the lighthouse is to do your healing stand in your power, shine bright so that they can go, oh, and help. That's how you help them heal and help them awaken 
and help them become aware of where they are at. You show them if you've had a past where you've done the where you've had to heal, where you've had to awaken. I mean, we all have, right? You're there to show them that you've done it before. And when they want to, when they're ready to help themselves to get out of the situations and the circumstances and the environment and whatever else they are in, they can go, oh, Kaki's done it before. Let me see what she's doing. Adriana's done it before. Let me see what she's doing. Sarah's done it before. Let me see what she's doing. Emily's done it before. Let me see what she's doing. And so on and so forth. There can be lots of lighthouses, right? That's the thing. It's not just one lighthouse. Imagine if we there are lighthouses everywhere and the boats can just go to whichever lighthouse they need to be at that point in time. Imagine if there are lots of lighthouses. How many more people can we help? How many more people can we help, right? One lighthouse can only help someone within that vicinity. But if we have lots and lots of lighthouses, then we are able to help more and more and more and more people until we are all lighthouses shining bright and beautiful and in our power. Hmm. Getting all the feels talking about this. But what I want to remind you is, one, if you have done the healing, if you have a story to share, if you are able to help people in any certain ways just through your speaking, through you sharing your story, and it doesn't have to be on a podcast, it doesn't have to be on a stage, it doesn't have to be in the public eye. It can just be amongst your friends, amongst your family. But you stand tall and be the lighthouse because you know that you are powerful and you are the light and you have done the healing. You are the person that you want to be. You are being that person. And that is being the lighthouse. So I ask that you remember that you are the lighthouse and lighthouses stand tall. They don't go out and bring in the boats. The boats come to them. And for the people who are wishing and praying that they can get out of whatever they're in at the moment, I can assure you there are lighthouses everywhere. You just need to open your eyes and you will find one. You will find at least one that will draw you in and allow you to see that you too can get to the other side, get on shore, heal, create a better life, get out of the drama and all the things that you don't want, you can leave because someone else has done it before. And when you do your own healing and you get to the other side, you yourself need to become a lighthouse to help those after you who are looking for their lighthouse. And that's the end of the show today. Please share this episode with anyone that needs a reminder to be the lighthouse. If you like what you heard, make sure you subscribe to my show and remember to follow me over at Facebook and Instagram at Abundance with Kaki Lee to connect with me and let me know what you think of this episode. If you're interested in working with me, learning from me, being part of my multi author book, send me a DM on Facebook or Instagram or email me at hello at kakilee.com.